Um, some of the people not really knowing what God what is, to do or uh, how to do it, just, just to be more aggressive. Kind of um, and that's all I've been doing to this. There, I've got a lot really of saying just just yeah. run the floor and Doesn't be active. Doesn't seem like it's necessarily like the, the best um, environment for you to showcase yeah, what you've got a lot do like because you know, you're sort of disjointed a bunch of guys. How do you play together? Some things like that. I saw you point a few times, one of the I mean, people um, aren't really probably aren't used to having. Yeah. I mean, it, is, it is really hard. Uh, that means that not really can still not really right. knowing what what so, to do or uh, uh, how to do it. You got overall out there, kind of being yeah. yourself. Yeah. And, uh, that's all the more. How, well, how do you feel about your numbers? I mean, of course, we're all looking at points and stuff like that, rebounds, and yours aren't you know way up there here. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a there's a give and take with uh, being in games like this. Uh, I realized I had to be I had to be more aggressive on a lot of things, so my so my numbers represent who I really am, um, and I guess it's kind of just the way that is. Somebody said that you were saying yesterday, and maybe facetiously, <laughs> that you were 87 percent sure you were uh, staying in the draft. Uh, how serious was that, and what is the percentage if that's not it? Um, I mean, they ask for a percentage. I've never really, I've never been asked a question like that and asked for a percentage. So um, it was, just, it was a number that that I honestly gave. Um, but as of right now, I'm gonna go back, take all the information I've got, and take the what I've learned and what I've saw here, and kind of go back and take it step by step and figure it out with my family. Marcus, if you hear from, if you, if the overwhelming feedback that you hear when this is over is. It's, it's going to be a sort of a crapshoot whether or not you get drafted. If you don't have a lot of certainty coming out of this process that you will be drafted, would you still stay in? Um, I mean, it all depends on everybody I hear. There, there could be some teams saying um, they're very uncertain. And there's some teams that are like, no, I really like you and I like you here. And that's where you, you have to kind of weigh the, weigh the odds and go from there. Have you what? heard that yet? From Have you had any teams say, hey, if you're there in the second round, we're interested? Um, I've definitely gotten uh, a, a couple uh, a couple saying that, so um, right now I'm, just, I'm kind of just taking, all, taking it all in right now. What's it like to, uh, Marcus, what's it like to know that Kentucky, of course, is bringing in another round of very highly regarded freshmen, and somebody like you who has experience could sort of get caught in the undertow and not have a full opportunity to show showcase what they can do? That's Kentucky. We, we don't we don't go to Kentucky to, to be handed handed uh, handed to play. Like you go to Kentucky to battle, you stay in practice and, and earn your spot. And that's the whole point of being there. That's the whole point of us being the best out there. Is that we make we make our players battle for your spot, and that's how you're supposed to do. It if you're a senior or you're a freshman. So the so the incoming players have no no bearing on what you decide. I don't know. I'm not them. So. I mean, I'm saying what, when you're looking at who's coming in and trying to decide oh. that, that has no impact on your No decision. impact at all. So what's the next